going on, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of Sports to the Wire. For those of you who are actually new to the channel, I am your host, Rashid White. And as, as everyone can actually see with the title on screen there, does Kyrie Urban deserve a max contract? And we're going to get into the definitions of actually what a max contract is. So first of all, if Kevin Durant actually wants him back on a team, he'll be back on a team. If he wants him to get a max a max contract, he'll actually get a max contract. It's just Kevin Durant's team. He's actually one of the best players in NBA history. You could argue top 10, 15, or maybe 20 in a sense, though. So you risk actually making him, him unha unhappy, and you don't want to do that. So... And if, uh, well, let's get into the definitions of, of, of what a max player is. First of all, you're actually going to pay money to actually see him play. You know, there's not a lot of players in the NBA you can actually say that. Yeah, you'll actually go to the games. You'll actually root for the team. Um, but, like, in terms of, like, watching somebody specifically play, I say, I have to go see this or he's must-see television. Well, Kyrie Irving actually fits that criteria. And Chris Broussard over here from, uh, what's that called, Fox Sports, he's actually saying that if um, they shouldn't actually offer him a max contract over here. So, uh, Chris Broussard believes the Brooklyn Nets have the leverage of not giving Kyrie long, you know, long, yeah, Kyrie Irving a long-term deal. All right. Studio lights in here, super bright there. All right, so if I were the Nets, I would sit down with Kyrie and say, "Look, we would like you to opt in. If you opt out, we're not offering you a long-term max contract. We may offer offer you what your schedule this year. Opt in. Let's see how it goes next year, and we'll go from there." Listen, Kyrie Irving is not no no uh, guy who actually has to prove himself in this league. You know what you're actually getting at him. That that means the, that that's actually the second definition over here. I know what I'm getting at, out of Kyrie Irving, and uh, coaches are definitely going to have to game plan for Kyrie Irving. You know, it's not like he's some some end of the bench player with very limited skills. Uh, I think last year he was shooting 50, 40, and 90. So. In big spots, in close games, he can hit his free throws. He's shooting 90% from the free throw line. Uh, you can't say that from a lot of players. I mean, he's clutch in a sense, though. And what I mean by clutch is that he can actually hit those free throws. Now, this this, this playoffs, I don't know what happened to him. Maybe they said he was fasting, but maybe, you know, he didn't want to push it too much, risk getting hurt, and then kind of screwing up that max contract in a sense, but he's 29 years old. I think if you give it to him, he's five years, he'll be 36. So he should be, uh, I don't know, man. So when the decline of Kyrie actually still happens, I mean, it's because he's still, still a high percentage one-on-one -on -one player. He's, he's a player that you have to run multiple defenders at. Uh, but... I don't know. I mean, let me know in the comment section. Would you actually give Kyrie a max a max contract? A part of me says yes. A part of me says no. And please, please, please stop listening to the media about, about Kyrie Irving. And I mean, this this season was not it, it wasn't his fault. Uh the, they can't the, the 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 whole vaccination thing. First of all, the whole they, Everything that they actually have to do, all the rules that they actually have to agree upon, has to be negotiated in the collective bargaining agreement. There was nothing in there saying that Kyrie actually has to take a vaccine to play. That's one. Two, uh, he was promised a, a religious exemption and promised a medical exemption, and all that stuff was declined. Again, that is against the law for, for um, the Blasio or any of these politicians to actually do that. And especially if you give it, you give overwhelming definitive uh, uh, proof of that. So James Harden coming out of coming into camp out of shape, uh, you know that's not a Kyrie Irving problem right there. And then you know James Harden, 
uh, he wanted the five years, $262 million. And the Brooklyn Nets said no. I mean, because now you have to pay him $62.5 million when he's 30, you know, 38 years old. And you you see him now, he doesn't have the explosion. So there was just a lot of turmoil in here. Kevin Durant getting hurt. Uh, then you make a big trade. And then you get new pieces in. And then the, the, the Brooklyn Nets have weaknesses in, the, in, 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 their, uh, in their roster, specifically with Drummond and Claxton not be able to hit free throws. So, I, I mean, there's just a lot, a lot of issues. They don't have no athletes. The Seth Curry gets hurt. Uh, he has an ankle injury. Joe Harris gets, uh, he's out for the season. And you, you had general managers actually saying, hey, we ain't worried about the big three. <laughs> Forget them. We worried about Joe Harris because Joe Harris can blow him out of the building in a sense, in a sense though. So there's this, there's a, you know, there's just a whole lot of blame to go around here. Is this not Kyrie Irving? I think the media likes using him because his name will actually just, just you know, get a lot of clicks. And they should be doing stuff like that, man. And they have a personal bias and with, with the vaccine and and um, yeah. So there's there's just a lot of a, a lot of issues there. You know, Sean Marks and Joe Sy should have you know should have stood up for Kyrie. Uh, they didn't. They were worried about what the media actually thinks about them. So there's just a whole lot of issues going on over here. So me and I made a video saying that man, if I could get rid of damn Kyrie Irving, and that was an emotional video, and it wasn't because it's just the vaccine. Because you know I want to see Vince's Kyrie, and I I didn't actually see that, and I, I wish I could actually put some. Kyrie clips on here, but the uh, <laughs> YouTube will actually demonetize that video, or or the NBA will actually want it taken down. So, but yeah, Chris, Chris, uh, yeah, I, I mean, this I don't know what's up with the media, man. Let me know what's going on with the media and why they actually hate Kyrie Irving so much, and why people hate Kyrie Irving so much. Don't give me no damn vaccine thing. <laughs> All right, so we'll wrap this video up. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Certainly share this video. And when you share, the universe certainly shares back with you. Peace.